science in a nutshell. Serious science games. Background radiation. We live in a radioactive world. I've brought out my trusty Geiger counter, as you do, to investigate the radiation in the village where I'm in lockdown, growing this beard. Since our world was formed 4.5 billion years ago, it has always been radioactive. Radioactivity is absolutely everywhere. Remember, when we talk about radioactivity, we're talking about ionising radiation like alpha, beta and gamma. If you're wondering why I look like this, this is what the coronavirus has done to people. It's made them, it's affected people, it's just made them do silly things like irrationally grow beards for no apparent reason. Even women. All sorts of things give out radioactivity. From the rocks in this road. Are they rocks? Tarmac, whatever it is. Stones in this road. Building materials like brick. The stones that this church is built from. Cosmic radiation from space and stars, like the sun. The leaves on this hedgy tree thing. Even the air all around us is radioactive due to radon gas seeping up from the ground. All these sources of natural radiation all around us are known as background radiation. Yes, the but background radiation does not just come from natural sources, it also comes from artificial sources of radiation produced by humans which contribute to the overall total. There's even traces of radioactivity left over from nuclear weapons tests in the 1950s and 60s. Nuclear power stations produce radioactive waste and this also contributes to the overall background radiation. <laughs> Medical uses of ionising radiation include x-rays and radioactive sources used in hospitals. All living things are radioactive. But why? That's because they're taking carbon dioxide for the purpose of photosynthesis. Bit of biology there. All forms of plants take in carbon-14. I'm here with my Geiger counter testing how radioactive this grass is. You can see this has been on for quite a while now. And if you listen carefully, be a beep now and then. It's a radioactive particle entering the Geiger counter. It's easy to understand why plants and trees are radioactive because they're taking carbon 14 from the atmosphere through radioactive carbon dioxide. But why does that make other animals and living things radioactive too. Well we eat lots of plant-based materials like fruit and veg which has already absorbed carbon-14 from the atmosphere. But other things add to it too. It's all the fault of these cows here. Not right ladies. So cows are radioactive too because they eat grass and the grass has absorbed the carbon-14 in the first place. So when cows eat grass, they become radioactive too. They absorb the carbon-14 into their bodies, in particular into their bones. And they keep absorbing carbon-14 until the day they die, normally when I eat them. Sorry, they're, they're milky cows. So you don't mind, do you? Sorry, I do mean to have said. Sorry, a bit awkward, really. I think I'll move. Get it? Move. I'm going now, cows. Bye. If you've been affected by this issue, please Hello, contact cows. this number. In. Look at that lazy cow. <laughs> so, no, sorry, not you, missus. Sorry. Big husband. Two metres distance, remember? Two metres. You're not allowed to hit me because you'll have to come closer than two me. Two metres. <laughs> Here's a lovely pie chart showing how the different sources of background radiation contribute to the overall total. And it's quite surprising. Look at that big chunk there. 50% comes from radon gas seeping up from underground. Radon gas can seep up through the floor and get trapped inside your house. Therefore, you breathe in bigger concentrations of it, so it can be dangerous. Just 0.3% actually comes from nuclear weapons testing in the past and nuclear waste in the present. Hardly anything. Food and drink, quite a big chunk, as I was explaining earlier about those dangerous cows. And look, medical uses, another big contributor to the overall background radiation, another artificial source. Finally, Finally,
of my summer, there are five main groups of background radiation that you need to be aware of. And there they are. The background radiation reading must be taken in a lab before doing any experiments. You need to subtract it from the readings you actually take in order to get accurate data. Don't forget about that, they ask about that. A big finish! Science in a nutshell! Yes, hey, thank you. Even this wooden shed behind me is radioactive, because at one time, of course, the wood was alive. What? Sorry, what? I've got something on my face. No, seriously, what?